Hello everybody, my name is Brendan Mitchell and if you are watching this it is because you have registered for my flipped classroom session at Flipcon New Zealand in a couple of weeks. Uh, what I'll be going through in this, uh, this video will be the what and the why of uh, flipped learning and then the actual uh, workshop itself will be focusing on the how. I think that's probably more important uh, use of the time that we have together. So the first thing I want to address is the why. It's really important we understand why we do something and as far as why we should flip our classroom, it's all about the most valuable use of your face-to-face -face time with students. So it's, flipped learning is all about giving students more time for active learning in class, uh, which has been shown to lead to learning gains in comparison to the traditional lecture, which you know, is the traditional classroom. In terms of the types of lessons, there was a piece of research put out by Marzano Research Labs in 2014 that addressed um, types of lessons that they were seeing in classrooms. There were six million data points, so it's fairly comprehensive. What they found is this 58% of the lesson types they observed were interacting with new content, which is essentially just the bottom two standards, bottom two levels of Bloom's taxonomy. You remember and understand. 36% uh, were about practicing and deepening uh, knowledge with that new content, which is apply and analyze from Bloom's taxonomy, and only 6% of the lesson types observed were interacting with new content, which is where we get to our really higher order thinking. Now, it's easy to think that if we're going to flip our classroom, then we should simply flip Bloom's taxonomy, but that actually leads to a model that is probably more appropriate for a PhD. What we should be seeing or you know, what we should be aiming for in a flipped classroom is something that looks like this. We're still remembering and understanding and we're still creating and evaluating because they are important things. However, the bulk of the classroom time, our face-to-face -face time with students, is applying and analysing. Actually putting that knowledge that they've got into practice and grappling with it and applying it to some kind of problem. In terms of what a flipped classroom is, it's all about taking the explicit instruction from the group learning space to the individual learning space. That means that then the group learning space is able to become this dynamic interactive learning environment where you as the teacher are able to guide and support students as they apply whatever the concept is that they're learning um, in some kind of creative application. It allows for so much more hands-on learning and it gives you the ability to engage with things like makerspace and project-based learning. You need to consider um, the way that you flip. So this is what a traditional classroom looks like. The individual learning space is all about follow-up activities, the homework, the basic assessment task. And the group learning space is about content delivery, direct instruction, and is usually a lecture with the teacher at the front of the room. In a flipped classroom, though, we quite literally flip that. The individual learning space is where the content delivery occurs. The explicit, explicit instruction occurs through a micro video or some kind of text reading, depending on the subject. The group learning space is then the follow-up activities where you as the teacher are able to provide support, where peers are able to provide support, extension, discussion. There is more time in class that you can engage with these higher order thinking skills. You can engage in applying the knowledge and the concepts. So how can you flip your classroom? You need to provide the explicit instruction element ahead of the actual lesson. Now that's what we call an outflip. You can also do what we call an inflip, which is where the uh, micro video is watched in class and we'll spend a little bit of time in the workshop talking about what that looks like. You need to consider, are you going to curate or create your videos? And you need to think about the types of readings that you're going to assign. This is the general sort of workflow of a flipped classroom. Um, obviously there are a few factors here and we'll spend a lot more time unpacking this in the workshop itself. And what's next? So the actual workshop itself, we're going to spend a lot of time talking about the specifics of how you can flip and set you up so that you can go straight back to your class and you can start flipping your class. We're actually going to spend some time planning, preparing for your first flipped lesson, and we're gonna talk about different technologies that you can use and tools and strategies to flip your classroom. On the right hand side, there are some links. The very first one, uh, tinyurl.com forward slash template FL. I'd like you to print that out and bring a copy of that with you. That is a template that will help you to start thinking about the process of flipping your classroom and what you want to achieve in the individual learning space 
and in the group learning space. If you can print that out and uh, perhaps even start to fill some of it in uh, with a pencil so you can you know, rub it out if you change your mind while we're there, um, that will give you some guidance on thinking about what you need to consider in the classroom, in the group learning space. The second link, tinyurl forward slash ydgx5s5s, is a link to a research paper, a white paper on flipped learning that ClickView published last year. The other three links there are um, useful resources. You don't need to look at those before you come to the workshop, uh, but you might find them useful to do so. Feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at c21 underscore teaching. Um, hit me up with any questions that you might have, but otherwise I look forward to meeting you in New Zealand in a couple of weeks' time, and we'll spend some um, a lot of time going in-depth on how you can flip your classroom and get you set up, ready to do just that when you go back to your school. Thanks very much.